forget Rocky Marciano, heavyweight champ Tyson Fury thinks he's Rocky Americano. That's because the boxing hero has become an unlikely coffee snob, according to his wife Paris. Tyson, still undefeated just like legend Rocky, has swapped his booze addiction for caffeine. Paris, 33, revealed, Tyson and I are big coffee drinkers, although we're at different ends of the coffee spectrum. I'm quite content with Nescafe instant granules, fully caffeinated. I need that pep up, and like it made very weak with lots of milk, but no sugar. Tyson, on the other hand, has become a coffee connoisseur, or a coffee snob as I call him. His obsession began when he was holed up in a US training camp that happened to have an all-singing, all-dancing coffee machine. A freshly made Americano, with hot steamed milk, soon became his daily treat, something for him to really look forward to. Paris said that Tyson, 35, has become so obsessed that he has educated himself on the origins of the beans from Kenya, Brazil, Colombia, as well their various blends and roasts. She explained, when he returned to the UK, Tyson splashed out on his own top-of-the-range coffee machine. It's his pride and joy, he loves it as much as his Ferrari, I reckon, and it's kept permanently in his camp HQ in Morecambe so the kids can't tamper with it. Once or twice a day he'll grind his own beans and, with tender loving care, will make himself his perfect brew. His coffee fetish has become a standing joke between us, in fact. He'll ridicule my mugs of cheap Nescafe, and I'll poke fun at his posh Americanos. Not such a working class man of the people now, eh, Tyson? Oh, go and boil your kettle. He knows I'm only winding him up. Considering what we've been through in the past, I'll choose a coffee addiction over an alcohol addiction any day of the week. In her new book How Does She Do It? Paris told how trop fighter Tyson Fury can't bear to be a tough nut at home and lets his kids away with murder. She moaned, there's definitely a good cop slash bad cop routine in our household. Tyson being the softy and me being the toughy, which means I dish out most of the timeouts and tellings off. I'm much better at setting boundaries for the children, and sticking to them, so they know when they've crossed the line. Tyson, on the other hand, is far more likely to let them get away with things, or cave into their demands. He often takes the easy option anything for a quiet life. In the aftermath of a big fight, my husband is even more of a pushover. When he's shot away in his training camp he misses the family so much, and he can't wait to get home to Morecambe to catch up with us all and make up for lost time. The last thing he wants to do is get on the kids wrong side, even if it means overruling me. How Does She Do It? by Paris Fury is published by Hotter and Stoden and out now. Thank you.